Have you ever seen this kind of 3D track motion text and wonder how it's done? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create exactly that. Are you Talking about 3D text and titles, I actually have a 3D title pack that allows you to create some insane 3D titles for your music video fully customizable. So the link will be in the description if you want to check it out. Without wasting any more time, let's just get into the video. So we in After Effects and I have this clip as you can see. This is actually from a music video that I did the VFX for. So the link will be in the description if you want to watch that video. So select your clip and go over to the right side. and. You you can see a main card tracker and just hit track camera and let it do its thing by the way we can also go over to advance and just select detail analysis that will actually improve like our the what you call it like mm, tracking points it will get you more tracking points i guess so after you 3d track you can see a lot of these 3d track points i'll bring up the track points size a little bit so you can see as you can see here now we have the tracking points so i'm gonna select any of these 3d track points and right click and just hit create camera and you can see our text is tracked to our footage now so i can play the song right now but he's saying like i was locked up to doubt of me and now i just want to make my brother proud of me so that's what he's saying so you know so the second step will be to sync it up and just edit the text according to your audio so i'm gonna do that so i was like that and you can change the font to like akira expanded that's what i use and put it around here something around here then for the another text i'm gonna duplicate it so trim it till the another lines start and i'm gonna push down the position and just write like locked and i'm gonna duplicate it again move it a bit further bring down the position again and locked up up yeah so i'm gonna trim it till like here i think i'm gonna also adjust the size a little bit so i'm gonna lower down the size actually and put it a bit further and i'm gonna lower down the size of i was yep you can also select this and tilt it a bit you can do whatever works best for you not just follow my tutorial you know so i'm gonna write all of my lyrics and see you guys so after you wrote your lyrics and just line it all up, your text should look something similar to this. I just changed around the color so you can see, but it would be a different color at the end, don't worry. So let's just get to the step 3, which will be animating the text. So this is the most fun part on creating text, so I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So my thinking behind the animating is like, I'm not gonna animate these first 3 lyrics. And I'm gonna animate a slide in for all of these red ones and at the last i'm gonna make these pop in like the position so i'll leave these three clips up for now and i'll start with this hit p to bring up the position and move the first keyframe a bit further in your timeline where you want the animation to end zooming into my viewport you can see this thing you can use it to slide around so i'm gonna slide it to like out of my frame like that and now select those keyframe hit f9 to easy is those and go into graph now and go over to speed graph and you can make a graph similar to this so it's a bit smoother i think i'm gonna make it a bit faster too like that i'm gonna solo this layer so just so you can see better so i'm gonna do this with this too so keep him the position and drag it down where you want it to end and just use this to slide it out F9 go into graph and make the same graph so same thing with this too and just turn on the motion blur on all of those now you can see this smooth animation that we got and i'm gonna remove the isolation so you can see the whole clip now now i'm gonna isolate these these three isolated and i'm gonna select one of those texts go over to scale and just hit and just hit the keyframe on there move it to where you want the animation to end and i'm gonna set the position to zero at the first frame f9 to easy ease and go into graph and make the same graph so same thing with these two 
and of course turn on the motion blur on those so my second animation looks like this i'm gonna remove the isolation by going to here and just unchecking these circles another thing you can do is so when your new lyrics start to comes up like this you can just hit t to bring up your opacity and just hit the keyframe on that and just go a bit further and lower down the opacity to zero and you can also add like a fast box blur with it so i'm gonna animate this too so i'm gonna copy these two keyframes and paste it on these clips too then the same thing with these two so i'm gonna paste those keyframe in here now we are done with the animation part and it looks so much smoother now so our final step will be styling because besides animation this looks pretty ugly right now so i guess i'm gonna make all these takes uh white like this i'm gonna make all of those white first i can actually select all of these and just do this actually yeah that's much better okay now all of my text is white and simple so now i'll be start adding glows so firstly i'm gonna isolate these three lyrics by clicking on this circle and isolating this then you can add like an optical glow in it or you can also use deep glow it is pretty dope too so i'm gonna lower down the amount to like here and bring up the size for sure let's just keep it three i don't want it popping bro and go over to alpha channel and set it to like generate on mold and i'm gonna go over to outer tent and set it to like something like orange or yeah this looks really cool like something orange around yeah this looks dope i'm gonna lower down the amount too so i'm gonna copy this glow onto all of my these there damn that actually looks really cool now so i'll copy this optical glow and i'm gonna remove the isolate from here now and i'll go into these three clips now and just isolate it again and i'm gonna place the optical glow in one of these and for this i'm just gonna change the outer tint to like something like blue yeah and just copy those paste it in these i'm i guess i'm gonna select these position keyframes and go over to the keyframe and just set it apart you don't have to do this i just did it because the glow was leaking into another so we are done with these two so i'm gonna remove the isolation from here and for the last three i'm gonna just copy the beginning glow that we used like the alloys like that oh i actually forgot to rotoscope man i should have done that in the beginning no worries so i'm gonna duplicate this clip and put it at top now and go over to the first frame and make sure your preview at is full do the camera tracker from here and select this roto brush tool and go into layer panel and i'm gonna quickly rotoscope if you don't know how to rotoscope you can search up in youtube there's a lot of tutorials after you're done rotoscoping, my results look like this. So that's it for today's video guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I be really active in my Instagram. You can follow me there. Also in Discord. You can join my Discord server if you want. So yeah. See you in the next video. Peace.